Please introduce yourself. Tell us what you do. Hi, I'm Brandon Larkins. I'm from HBO's The Wire. Also was on TBS's Cougar Town this past year wow. with Courtney Cox. Wow. Amazing stuff. I know we're celebrating so much talent tonight. We got Absolutely. the BT Awards here. We're on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Where all the movie premieres happen. <laughs> you know, what growing up, what really inspired you to take this role and be in the creative arts? You know what, man? Growing up, I was so inspired by my father, uh, Minister Walter Larkins Jr. I'm from Baltimore. My dad was an athlete. He was an entertainer. He's a vocalist. He's a public speaker. So I get a lot of my traits and I get a lot of my talents from my dad. So growing up watching him public speak and things like that, I always wanted to follow in his footsteps. And who would have known that it would have led to television shows and movie roles and web series and songwriting and things like that. You know, and as a songwriter, I'm so blessed to be here honoring Yo-Yo, you know, 25 years. I mean, you can't take that for granted. I first heard her on Ice Cube's America's Most Wanted album, you know, back in the early 90s. And then she came out with her own album. And, you know, who doesn't know you can't play with my yo-yo? You know, so she's been very very inspiring for me. She uh, has been very influential towards me. I'm just grateful, man, to be here, man. I don't take any of this for granted. Yeah. You know, and, and that's one thing about me. You know, I'm an entertainer, but you know what? Most and foremost, I'm a child of God, and I'm very, very humble. So I don't take any of this for granted. Bro, man. I had the pleasure to be an early promoter of NWA and of course Ice Cube when he went solo. Oh, congratulations. And I went oh, to the sh I went to the show at the Palace Theater right across from Capitol. Okay. On that tour. You got history, bro. Oh yeah. And and when Ice Cube and Yo Yo did that duet, that that back and forth. Word. It was electric. It was so exciting. I bet it was, man. That show blew the roof off the palace. Yeah. Oh, so wow. To be celebrating that 30-some years later, yeah, really, really special. It is. You know, and that's that's something about great art. It's, it's timeless, you know. Yeah. You don't know at the time, but if you put your heart and soul into it, you're and it, you're right. speaking the truth, yeah. it can ring true for decades later. Man, you're right. I, was, um, I had the pleasure of talking with Michael Bibbins of New Edition and his manager, Brooke Payne, uh, two nights ago to kick off the BET celebration. And to look at that dude, man, I mean, he's got over 30 years in the game, man. You know, boys and, to men. And boys to men, ABC, you know, the East Coast family. You know, he's created a lot of careers, man. Yeah. And, you know, just to see that they're still relevant right now, that says a lot about their character, though. And it says a lot about him as well. You know, staying positive, staying humble, connecting with your supporters, your family, and your fans. You know, because as long as you're humble and positive, people are going to stay with you. You know what I mean? And, you know, yeah. that, that's just something for me to look forward to, man, and, and, and be inspired to. Not only as an artist, but as a grown man as well. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. The hits can come and go, and the trends can fall. Exactly. But, you know, true talent, good positive energy goes forever. That's right. I 100% I, I totally agree with you, man.